it's that time again, we've lined up 20 never before seen videos from 2022 showing how Tesla Autopilot reacts in crashes, near misses, fails, and saves. Let's go! Hunter was driving his Model 3 in the left lane with Autopilot engaged when a semi-truck signaled to merge into his lane. Hunter says Autopilot didn't react in time, but when it did break, it tried to avoid both the semi and the barrier on his left. Hunter's right side view mirror was knocked off by the semi's trailer. The semi just took off, making it a hit and run, but Hunter contacted the police and the investigation is ongoing. In the end, it was a close call and Hunter's glad nobody got hurt. Who do you think is at fault here, Autopilot or the truck driver? Derek was on a road trip in his Model X from Santa Barbara, California to Las Vegas, Nevada. Autopilot was engaged and he was cruising along at 80 miles per hour. All of a sudden, a Porsche with no headlights made an illegal U-turn on the highway right in front of him. Autopilot didn't react at all and didn't apply the brakes or give Derek any warnings. At the last second, Derek was the one who made the maneuver we see in the video to avoid an accident. Everyone was okay, but both Derek and his girlfriend were really shaken up. This is Derek's fourth Tesla, with the last two both getting totaled in rear-end accidents, so he's hoping this one will last a little bit longer. Alistair was driving his Model 3 with autopilot engaged in Hillsboro, Oregon, when he suddenly heard a roaring sound as well as a thud from something hitting his car. A motorcyclist was illegally lane splitting and clipped the Tesla on the driver's side near the rear wheel well. In the video, the only thing we see sticking out from the motorcycle at that height is the rider's foot. Fortunately for him, the area around the wheel well is convex, which probably kept his foot from hitting the tire of the car, which Alistair imagines would have caused the biker to crash. Alistair says he's glad that autopilot was engaged, even though it didn't seem to react. It actually helped him maintain his lane when he most likely would have jerked the wheel if he had been driving by himself. Who knows what the consequences of that would have been? Alistair filed a police report, but the detective handling or possibly ignoring his case said that the motorcycle's license plate had been altered since the first digits weren't valid for any motorcycle plate. Aside from some thick rubber that was very stuck, there wasn't any damage to the Tesla. Alistair asks anyone who recognizes the brand of bike to please let him know in a comment below. Guan was driving southbound on I-15 with autopilot engaged using the full self-driving beta 10.4 at the time. Both autopilot and an RV with a trailer were signaling to merge into the lane between them, waiting for two motorcycles to pass first. Just as it became safe, autopilot merged into the lane. The RV then started to travel left into Guan's lane, almost hitting his right fender with the trailer. Autopilot sounded a forward collision warning and swerved to the left to avoid a collision, but there was already another car on the left. Guan took over and applied the brakes to let the trailer pass. He's surprised that Autopilot didn't do this on its own. Guan's takeaway from this is to always stay the heck away from trailers. Philip was using Autopilot during medium heavy traffic in Los Angeles, California. Autopilot applied the brakes due to slowing traffic when all of a sudden he felt and heard a bump from behind. I'm pretty sure you can probably guess what had hit him. The driver of a Honda Civic couldn't slow down in time and rear-ended Philip's Tesla. They were really nice and it was their first car accident. They filed an insurance claim and Philip's repair bill came in at just over 1,000 US dollars since his bumper cover needs to be replaced. Check that out. You can actually see the Honda logo's imprint on the Tesla's bumper cover. I'd say that Honda definitely made an impression. Jep was driving with autopilot engaged when two people ran out onto the road in front of him. Autopilot was able to stop the Tesla in time. Jep told us he didn't touch the controls at all and instead trusted autopilot to stop. Okay, this has nothing to do with the video, but am I the only one that thinks these two look like they were pulled straight out of an 80s music video? How many gigawatts are in your Tesla battery, Jep? 1.21 gigawatts, perhaps? David was driving down Highway 101 in California, cruising along with Autopilot engaged and with his whole family in the car. Autopilot was just about to pass a Prius bearing an extensive amount of bumper stickers. Just as they began to pass, the Prius started to turn toward the Tesla. 
David says that Autopilot started to take action, but it was reacting too slowly. He ended up taking over and thinks his new tires might have kept him from losing control. It was David's son's idea to send the video to Wham Bam Tesla Cam. He's been watching every new video and he especially likes the Autopilot save compilations. This is actually the seventh Autopilot special we've made so far. If you haven't yet watched the other episodes, just do it, man. TS was driving his Model 3 in White Plains, New York. Autopilot was engaged and cruising along in the center lane when they passed an on-ramp. A Hyundai merged onto the highway and the driver immediately went to merge over two lanes straight toward TS's Tesla. He isn't sure if Autopilot moved the car into the fast lane or if he took over at that point, but he definitely felt Autopilot engage and move the car. TS also thinks that the Tesla's low center of gravity kept it from spinning out and causing any damage or injury. Dana was traveling on I-355 on her way home from work. Autopilot was following the traffic ahead of her when a Jeep driver started tailgating her closely. The Jeep driver overtook her on the right, cut her off, then brake checked her. Autopilot reacted and braked safely. We can only assume that Dana shook her head before applauding the brilliant Jeep driver. Ivy Comb was merging onto a larger section of Highway 1 in Canada when the driver in front of her suddenly slammed on their brakes. Ivy Comb had been checking over her shoulder while getting ready to merge, and her friend started yelling, Whoa, 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 look out! By the time she turned her head back and tried to react, she found the brake fully pressed down. She estimates they'd been going around 80 kilometers an hour and Autopilot slowed them down to about 35 kilometers per hour, practically on a dime. She admits this was 100% a reaction by Autopilot and that there's no way she would have reacted in time to avoid an accident. Ivy Comb asked if we could give a shout out to her Discord community, The Beehive. Hey there, everybody. Heidi was driving her Model Y to work in the left lane of a highway when a black Ford truck ran her off the road. Autopilot swerved out of the way to avoid a collision, but the Tesla ended up hitting the concrete barrier on the left. The driver of the truck sped off without stopping. Fortunately, the only visible damage was a few paint scuffs above the driver's side fender. Heidi filed a police report and an insurance claim. Luckily, the truck's license plate is fairly visible, so it should be a pretty simple claim process. Brandon was heading toward Tonopah, Nevada with his three kids in his Model Y. It was their first road trip in the Tesla and Autopilot was engaged with the cruise speed set to 75 miles per hour. As they rounded a bend, they saw a car coming straight at them in their lane. Brandon says Autopilot didn't react, so he took over by braking and swerving off the road. The other car cut off the semi he'd been overtaking to get back into his lane. Brandon notified the police, but they said they couldn't do anything about it. Nick was driving his Model 3 down a Canadian highway. Right as he pulled alongside an SUV, it suddenly started to drift into his lane. Nick says Autopilot kicked in and maneuvered the Tesla behind the SUV, barely missing it. Nick's first thought was that he finally had a video to send to Wham Bam Tesla Cam. His second thought was to speed around the SUV and get ahead of him. Ernest was driving his Model 3 with Autopilot engaged in the HOV lane after work. The traffic in the lane next to him came to an immediate stop and one of the cars rear-ended another. Autopilot gave Ernest an audible warning before the accident even occurred. Thanks to that warning sound, when the car that had been hit entered Ernest's lane, he was ready for it and reacted quickly enough to avoid also being involved in the accident. Jason had a similar experience while using Autopilot in an HOV lane. Jason saw traffic stacking up in the lane on his right and was ready to take control of his Tesla just in case. The driver of a van wasn't paying attention and almost rear-ended the car in front of him. He tried to avoid getting into an accident by swerving into Jason's lane and nearly pushed him into the concrete barrier. Jason reacted before Autopilot did and took evasive maneuvers to avoid an accident. 
Faiz was driving his Model 3 and using autopilot in Bellevue, Washington. Autopilot decided to stop at a yellow light even though Faiz thought it could have easily made it through the intersection. The lady behind him wasn't paying attention and Faiz noticed she wasn't stopping. Instinctively, he hit the juice pedal and drove through the red light, honking to warn other drivers. Faiz isn't sure if Autopilot helped, but he doesn't think he could have reacted that quickly on his own with his poor driving skills. Hey, don't say that Faiz, you handled this great. He pulled over to see if the lady was okay, but she just drove away without stopping. Abhijith was driving on a highway with Autopilot engaged. The car in front of him changed lanes, nothing suspicious about that. When he got closer, he suddenly saw a person just standing in his lane, looking at their phone. As soon as he noticed them, Autopilot also started sounding alarms. He was still in the middle of processing what was going on for the next half second as the alarms continued to go off. Autopilot must have understood that he wasn't going to be able to react in time safely, so before he had a chance to swerve, Autopilot did it for him. As a result, the Tesla narrowly missed hitting the person. Abhijith is confident that Autopilot saved a life that night. Hayden was driving to work early one morning in his Model 3 with the full self-driving beta engaged. He'd just corrected a mistake and re-engaged FSD when he thought he imagined seeing a shooting star. He downloaded the clip as soon as he got to work. Lo and behold, he hadn't imagined it. Of course, he wished upon the shooting star for you to subscribe to Wham Bam Tesla Cam. Aww. Adam was using autopilot in Canada when traffic up ahead came to a complete stop. Autopilot applied the brakes very strongly, but smoothly and in plenty of time. Unfortunately, the Nissan behind him wasn't able to stop in time. After they pulled over to the shoulder, they civilly exchanged insurance information and no angry words were spoken. Adam tells us that Canadians are always friendly. Mose was driving along at 75 miles per hour with autopilot engaged and minding his own business when another driver decided to perform an illegal maneuver and pass him on the right. It's illegal to do this in the UK. The unexpected move caused autopilot to slam on the brakes, which resulted in the back end sliding out and one of the Tesla's wheels making contact with the curb. When Mose heard the loud thud of the rim hitting the curb, he knew there would be extensive damage, so he sped up and tried to flag down the other driver. Mose kept flashing his headlights, but the other driver just kept driving away. Later, the passenger leaned out of the window and flipped him off. Mose filed a police report, and it's been categorized by the police as dangerous and reckless driving, failure to stop, and also endangering the safety of a passenger since they weren't wearing a seatbelt. His repair bill estimate is 1,300 pounds, about 1,800 US dollars, for a new wheel, paintwork, and a mud flap to replace one that fell off. We've started releasing episodes over on the new Wham Bam Dash Cam channel, featuring videos from all makes and models. It's so cool to have the extra dimension of audio, and makes the videos absolutely crazy. Here's a little sneak peek of one of the stories. He entered an intersection on a green light. Oh man, these videos sure are more dramatic when they include audio. That's Damien we hear screaming in the video. He told us he was okay at first and only had a sore arm. 